Hello, Amos again back at NASA. So I want to make a quick video to talk to you about part of why I'm fascinated by space and astronomy and so on. When I was in graduate school, I took a class called physical chemistry for PhD students in chemistry. And when I was taking that class, something occurred to me that I don't think had ever occurred at that scale. The professors for physical chemistry are sometimes, actually all the ones now that I think about it, are PhD physicists. So you begin to wonder, why is it that PhD physicists are teaching in the chemistry department, right? Physical chemistry. And you might say, what's the big deal, Amos? Well, here's the problem. We've disconnected chemistry from physics, which now makes it like basically two different disciplines, right? That should actually be taught together. But in physical chemistry, we also had to do calculations and use computer science and so we're doing math. So in physical chemistry, there's physics, there's chemistry, there's math. Of course, there's chemistry because it's physical chemistry, right? But, but then there's physics and then there's math and then there's computer science skills using things like um, uh, Wolfram Alpha or Mathematica. So what if we taught science and math as an integrated unit like that with chemistry, physics and mathematics combined? The mathematical sciences with computer science, of course and engineering. So when I look at rockets and when I look at studies that have to do with space, I'm fascinated by the fact that there's a collaborative effort of all these fields together. And that's part of what I want to do with these STEM excellence programs and in the book that I'm writing called STEM Excellence, right? How to raise the next generation of scientists, mathematicians, and engineers who also know the history and philosophy of science. That's really what I'm trying to get at. So once in a while, you're going to see short videos that I release in my STEM Excellence podcast. And basically STEM Excellence is just how can we be the best like Singapore? How can we be like Singapore while our kids are also like having a life, quote unquote? And I don't say this in any way uh, to, to bring down Singapore in that regard. I have a friend from Singapore visiting me right now. And the more I talk with him, the more I'm concerned that sometimes there's a lot of pressure on kids, right? I want kids to excel in STEM, but I also want them to have a life. And I think it's possible. How is it possible? Well, people like Barbara Oakley and Carl Newport and uh, Anders Ericsson, they've written books, and I have those in my How to Learn series. So one of them is called How to Learn, one of them is called Learn Like a Pro, one of them is called Peak by Anders Ericsson. And then there's a book about becoming an engineer, which I also have in my kit. Anyways, feel free to reach out if you have any questions of any of these books I've written or leave them in the comment section. But we need to integrate science, math, we need to integrate it together, help people to see the application. We're going to space. Okay, let's reverse engineer. How do we get to space? We need math, we need chemistry, we need physics, we need computer science, we need engineering. Do it all together. So in our STEM excellence centers, God willing, we want people to literally just know that their children are getting the highest level of STEM learning and learning strategies so they can become the next generation of top scientists by the grace of God. Let me know if you have any questions, but I have summer courses that I'm offering in pre-algebra Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. So reach out. That's the beginning, right? You need to have a solid foundation. So those are the foundational courses. And then we have geometry, trigonometry, and calculus. So reach out if you have any, if you want to review any of those topics. We have a weekly check-in on Mondays. And so my next cohort starts next Monday. Reach out to Amos the Math Guy at gmail.com or Amos the Math Guy.com. You get a little bit of math practice throughout the summer so that you stay healthy and ready for the fall. Whether you're in pre K or you're in 12th grade, we're here to help. And for college students, I really want to encourage you to make time now, order your textbooks early, and start reviewing what topics you're going to learn. Just look at the table of contents. Start getting comfortable with it. Reach out if you have, if you have any questions to college students. So anything STEM related, Amos the Math Guy is here to help. Our uh, Amos the STEM Guy too. Um, take care. Have a blessed day. I hope your week goes well. And uh, let's integrate science and math. And have a blessed day.